Hello, this is Vicki Simons with TruckDriversMoneySavingTips.com and the Truck Drivers Money Saving Tips Facebook fan page. Welcome tonight to a special Sunday broadcast. We're going to be talking about how to uh, keep that one relationship strong if you are a professional truck driver uh, going over the road. And uh, I look forward to sharing some information with you. Okay, uh, let's get on with the, the show here. What is the most important relationship in your life? Well, for some people, it would probably be the relationship with their uh, spiritual higher power. For us, it would be uh, the Lord, the Creator. But what I'm talking about is a physical relationship, and that would be the relationship that you have with your spouse. Okay, If it's a female driver and your husband's back home and you're over the road, uh, it would be your husband. If your husband is on the road, obviously the person back home is your wife. Uh, my husband and I have had the pleasure of having all three different kinds of situations uh, as far as our relationship is concerned. We started out in trucking uh, with a, um, I think it was about an eight-week course in truck driver training school. And uh, we're in an apartment down in Charleston, South Carolina, going to a truck driver training school that no longer exists down there. But um, anyway, our plan was, and it turned out to be, that we were a professional, over-the-road, husband and wife driving team. And we teamed for almost three years. So we were in the truck together constantly, uh, except for the times practically probably when uh, Mike was on working on the docks or in the trailer or uh, working with the customers. But basically we were together probably 23 and a half hours out of every 24. Uh, that, that It meant for great uh, togetherness. Now, some people can't handle that, but I'm, I'm trying to look at this too. Uh, yes, your most important relationship uh, here on earth. Uh, we consider it our marriage. Um, but anyway, we were together a lot. And being in the professional driving, we were both equally qualified to drive a truck and did. And there were there were some tense times out there uh, together, but uh, we we worked those out. And uh, there's no room in the cab of a truck for um, a breakdown in a relationship like that. You just have to keep that flow of information going. All right, and the thing about it is, is um, that was the first type of uh, situation that we had. The second type of situation that we had was when Mike was over the road, uh, actually as a regional truck driver, and I was back home as his uh, full-time home support uh, team. And, of course, when I was in the truck with him as a, as a truck driver, I was his in-cab co-driver home support team. Uh, we uh, literally packed up uh, everything that we had twice and put it into storage and went on the road. Uh, one of those times was when we were driving together. A second time, uh, actually the second and third time, was when uh, I was riding with him full time. I was the passenger, was not driving, and so I was the in I was in the in truck home support team uh, member there for him. And uh, being back home, obviously, uh, there were times when he was gone for upwards of two or three weeks at a time. I am the type of a person who does not, I'm not very clingy, I'm not very uh, emotionally needy, so whatever um, Mike was doing, it was tough, I will tell you that, it was tough when I could only connect with him one time a day, and that was in the days before cell phones. Okay, when the only time that he could, could call me was when he was parked at a truck stop and able to call me from a pay phone using what was then uh, a, a, um, a calling card. And those things are practically obsolete now unless you're making international calls. But the thing about it is, is uh, you want to keep that line of communication open. All right. This is especially important if your spouse is back home with any children and especially very young children. And if you have a very active uh, young child, it could be even more uh, important. But uh, you want to make sure that those lines of communication are open. And uh, no guessing games. You don't want to, um, to run into things where you think you know what the other person is thinking or feeling. There may be some uh, situations that are downright horrible that your spouse is dealing with. For example, if the husband is on the road halfway across the country and there is a storm and the tree lands on the house, uh, she's going to have to deal with that back home and it's, it could be very ugly. So um, you want to help prepare the person who's going to be left um, at home as well and just basically have a good 
uh, level of understanding as to what's going to be happening. Okay, and anyway, that that's a, a series of, of tips all in itself is to keep that line of communications open. Another is how are you going to keep that line of communications open? Um, these days, a lot of your smartphones and cell phones have got a um, the type of data plan or uh, a voice and data plan that has unlimited talk and text. All right, that's a very frugal. Uh, way to go if you can do it. Uh, unlimited talk and text. And uh, Mike and I certainly took uh, advantage of that. Even when he was um, driving locally, uh, when he was stopped somewhere, he would uh, just update me to let me know where he was and what was going on. Uh, I was watching the, the weather and uh, trying to make sure that uh, he knew in advance what was going on if he did not have access to that information. Okay, now, why is this important for saving money? Uh, obviously, other than having unlimited talk and text is a good money-saving tip. If you have a situation where you are not staying in good communication with your spouse, I have heard of horror stories where the, the wife back home is just so put out with her husband not being there that she's ready to divorce him, okay? To be honest with you, there are women out there, and probably some men too, although women probably uh, struggle with this more than men do, who are very emotionally needy. Okay, They need to have someone there. Uh, there are different types of learners out there. Uh, some learners are visual learners. There are auditory learners, so people who need to uh, listen. And there are kinesthetic learners, people who actually have to touch. Okay. The people, the, the kinesthetic learners are a very small percentage of the population, but they need to have that clinginess. Uh, they need to have uh, regular touch. For people who are married to a kinesthetic learner, I think the best way to do it is just say, hey, look, go on the road with them. Uh, if it's very, if it's at all possible to do that. Now, if there's kids at home, young kids, uh, that may not be possible, but uh, you'll have to... Uh, just be aware of what the person's needs are, and when I say needs, I am very, I'm very deliberate in that. Okay, this is not wants. This is a need because that's the way the person has been uh, created and designed. That's their personality type. That's their learning style. Okay, can good communication be frugal for professional drivers? Absolutely, they can. Okay, uh, one of the things is uh, if you have a visual learner. A text can be very helpful uh, if you have, for example, uh, if you have the ability to take photographs with your camera, and I don't say do this while you're driving down the road, but just snap a picture every once in a while of yourself maybe out in front of the truck stop or wherever you are, if, unless it's a, you know prohibited, uh, and just say, look, honey, I'm, I'm here at such and such location. I'm thinking of you. I love you. And send that. Uh, that text with the photograph with it and just to let that person know it is a reassurance to them that you are you are thinking of them and that you love them and that there's not a you know a day that goes by or hopefully an hour that goes by while you're awake where that uh, that you're not thinking of them and loving them when you are um, on the road away from home uh, men who are needy uh, for a woman's um, input ladies don't go abandoning your husband out there. Uh, the fastest way to uh, shove a man into an improper relationship is to uh, think less of him or to demean him because of his job. Uh, there are a lot of guys who they've gone into trucking because there's nothing else, and they really don't want to be away from home, but they don't have a choice. And uh, just be grateful that he has a job and that he's bringing in money and that he's doing his best to try to, to meet your family's financial needs. So um, that being said, try to understand it from the other person's point of view, and uh, try not to be selfish, but give of yourself. Give of yourself as much as possible. S Skype can be an option. If you happen, I would, I've just only mentioned this, the smartphone, but if you happen to have a laptop computer, and for example, uh, depending upon what kind of a system or um, a service that you have. Um, there are some truck stops that have uh, the ability to have Wi-Fi through their, um, they have a, a service that you pay for. One of the things that's real neat about the cell phones that we have is that uh, we can set up our own mobile hotspot and we can actually run uh, various programs 
uh, basically internet connection through a mobile hotspot and I have not personally tried it I do not know but if you have the ability to be able to set that up and run a Skype program that's just about as good as having a live video so um, I would definitely say do it so all right Skype could definitely be an option all right uh, men uh, if your wife is the type that loves these little cards there are usually in some of these larger uh, truck stops there are displays of cards, and some of them, uh, they are just, they're lovely. Okay, they're beautiful. They are, they have the, the beautiful colors, the, the words in them are lovely. And just pick up a card and dog on it, you know, postage for a, a first class piece of mail like that. Uh, right now in the United States is less than 50 cents. It's probably around 47 cents. Take out a booklet or buy a booklet of 20 stamps and send her something every so often and let her know. And what's interesting is depending on where you're sending it from, she could uh, come to treasure the postmarks on there say, hey, look, I got, you know, if she goes to um, her ladies club or church or wherever and she wave that, uh, wave that card around and say, look, I got a, a, a card in the mail from my husband from wherever it is that he was, you know, for example. We're here in South Carolina, and if my husband had gone to, say, Washington State, that would be, wow, or, you know, up into Canada or, you know, wherever. And just basically, it is, um, it can mean a lot to, to someone back home. Plus, if you have children back home, it could be a huge geographical lesson. Look, um, your daddy uh, was on the road, and he took this route to go up to this place and, um, you know, tracking that out and helping them to stay connected with, with dad on the road. And that's, that's wonderful as well. Yes. I was reminded that the, the cards that, uh, used to be probably still are. And some of these truck stops are from blue mountain arts. I thought that was the name of it, but I was reminded of it too. So anyway, um, there could be other cards and don't forget, man, if you're in the area and you happen to go to say a Hallmark store, or, or some other kind of a card store, don't forget. Uh, there are just other kinds of things that you can do as well. Uh, it can be a little bit more difficult to send a memento through um, the mail, but uh, one of the things that you might want to take with you guys is something small uh, that won't take up a whole lot of time that will remind you of your loved ones back home. Uh, I don't remember if I've got this on truckdriversmoneysavingtips.com or not, but I have a photograph that I took where a guy... Uh, the handle on the passenger side of the truck as you're as you're getting into the truck, he had a a stuffed animal wrapped around that handle. It did not in any way affect his ability to see out either the windshield or his uh, passenger mirror. But anyway, it, it was there. And so whenever he's using the Smith system in order to be able to keep his eyes looking from side to side to make sure that everything's good around his truck. Every time his eyes went by that, that stuffed animal, obviously he remembered uh, the person whose stuffed animal that was. And I have no idea whether it was a, you know, a spouse or a significant other or a child. Probably was a child, but I can't make that assessment for sure. But anyway, it was a wonderful way to be able to stay connected and to just remember and even to, to pray, obviously, for uh, that person back home. So, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a person back home. Uh, when I talk about a home support team on truckdriversmoneysavingtips.com, it could be someone who's not a spouse and not a child, not a parent. It could be somebody else who's um, there for you. So, um, just um, bear in mind that whoever it is in your life that is the most important. You want to stay connected to that person on the road. But for us, it would be a spouse, and there are ways to, to stay connected that are very meaningful. So uh, one of the things that you could ask drivers is, what form of communication would be most meaningful for you? What method of communication would be most meaningful for you? How can I stay in touch with you and um, make this uh, very special for you? I just want you to know that uh, the reason why it's important uh, to keep those home fires burning is because um, divorces are expensive and uh, they can cause more problems than uh, what you realize. Plus, when a driver's on the road, um, he or she really wants to have a place to come back home to, if possible. Uh, I know there was a time in our lives when we were 
uh, teaming. Literally, when we came home, it was to a hotel. So for a period of time, uh, but the thing about it is, is that we, we were together. That was that was special for, for us. And um, there, there were times when it got downright lonely for my husband when he was uh, by himself on the road. But um, I was there for him to to talk with. And to be honest with you, I was there for him to vent on. Okay, there were things that happened on the road, whether with other drivers or something having to do with his job, and he just needed somebody to vent on. He needed he needed that outlet. I was that outlet for him. So, uh, ladies, if you're back home and you've got a man on the road, uh, just be aware that he may need to, to let off some steam so it doesn't come out anywhere else or on anyone else and uh, risk losing his job. TruckDriversMoneySavingTips.com has got over 1,400 pages on it to help professional truck drivers to save time and money on the road. And the reason why we exist is because truckers know that no trucker deserves to be stung financially. And as always, we wish you safe travels and lots of money-saving opportunities on the road. Thanks.